All right, Max. Why is your mom in a panic today? We all know that we're going to build a goat shelter sometime. Yeah, but why is she particularly in a panic today? What did she find out today? Goats need actual caring. <laughs> <laughs> I think your mom knew that. Um, <laughs> what was the thing that she was unaware of and put her in a panic today? So, breaking news, we're going to have weeks, I mean, we're going to have goats in a few weeks. A few weeks? I mean, one week. Yeah. We found out today that the goat finally gave birth, and luckily we'll have two does ready for us. And it seems like Rochelle, your mom, had uh, a miscommunication where we thought we were going to have one, one and a half months from birth to having them on the house and bringing them home to us. We're at the point now where we need a goat house. Uh, luckily, I did most of the planning for that. We've already got all the plywood. This morning we did a trip. We got the two by fours, all, all the regular studs, things like that for the walls. So that's what we're gonna be working on in this video. And I'm gonna bring along Max because it's his goats. So he's gonna have to do some work. I'm gonna put him to work. Uh, mm -hmm. So he's ecstatic about that, as you can tell. So. That's what we're gonna do today. And while I'm with Max building the goat house, uh, Rochelle and Sam are pretty much out uh, going and buying some of the last minute things that we need uh, that we couldn't order online or didn't want to order online. So that's where we're at. And come along with us to build the goat house. All right, Max and I are in the middle of the panic. Max's plan is pretty much a simple eight foot by eight foot box for the goats, which makes making it a lot easier. Thank you, Max. <laughs> we just finished the placing on the garage floor, which we'll show you in a second, uh, the frame, so to speak, for the front of the goat house. And this is generally the plan for the goat house, the front, the back, and the bottom. And the two sides are just gonna be basically mirror images of each other. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're moving forward with that and we're just gonna take you along. This is Max's front of the goat house. It's roughly put together. I gotta cut a bunch of pieces to the side on the two sides here for the, the corners of the goat house. I got a four by four right there and another four by four over here. And I got two by sixes at the top, two two by sixes on top of each other up there. Um, this left side is gonna be empty because that's where we're gonna be putting the door because Max wanted a nice big door for the goats. And uh, this piece right here, uh, we're gonna cut up a little bit later. It's just kind of a placeholder. So um, that placeholder is gonna be where actually a window is. All right, so we got uh, most of the frame cut to size behind me. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish a couple cuts and then we're gonna start tacking it together with some screws.
We are finally ready to lift up the front, and that's the plan. So this is the front, Max. Yeah. So the front's up against the wall, and we're gonna start the plan for the side there. And the side's just gonna be simple. It's gonna be eight foot high in the front and seven and a half feet high in the back. Max and I just finished the first side. Uh, since the first side and the second side are exactly the same, all we're gonna do is put all the pieces for the second side uh, right on top, and then we'll know exactly the measurements to cut, and we'll just put it together there so both of the sides will be right on top of each other and done really quick. It took us about five to 10 minutes to finish the second side wall. Uh, we're gonna get that up to the side and we're gonna start on the back wall, which is probably the easiest one because it's pretty square, uh, not too complicated. So that's the next step.
where we just finished the fourth wall the framing of it. So the fourth wall is framed, ready to go. So we've got the two sides, the front, the back. We're good to go. Uh, the next step is to literally cart these pieces out one by one to the goat area where the goats are going to be. We're going to put them together at that spot. And then from there, we are going to put the plywood on all the sides and the roof. So that's the next plan. We are getting ready to put those four frames together. Uh, you can see we got one of them up, that's the back, and we're just gonna get moving on putting the other three walls up. three walls up so we're good to go on those three we're gonna make sure that we're nice and square and level with everything and we're gonna get the fourth one up All right, four sides are up. We're gonna start working on the roof. Butterfly. 60 degree day. Ooh. Come here. No, it's okay. Oh. Butterfly. 
It's still recording. Okay. How'd you like to fly? Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope, it stopped. It wouldn't stop before. I know. So the, uh, the phone on the tripod went for a little dive or flying session. So uh, we moved the camera to the other side to get you a better view anyway. So uh, you're looking at the back is what I'm going to be working on next. And then we'll get the side right here as closest to the camera. So that's what we're up to. Reciprocating saw time. Angle number three. Sun started getting in the way, so we'll get you over here. So the walls are on. Michelle is almost done with the uh, P stone and making sure the foundation is not going to slide out because we are in a little bit of a slant going downwards. And now it's time for the plywood on top of the roof. We're at the point where we're going to make a door and this piece is going to be the part that actually hinges back and forth. This is the door uh, to this point. Uh, this side, the top side here, is going to be inside the goat house. Uh, we cut out the hole for the, the window and we got a perimeter of 2x4s laying flat up against the, the plywood. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 2x4s along the perimeter of the window cut out and that will be where the window gets held in. And then we're going to put a diagonal across on the bottom part of the plywood from 
here to about here. We got the door up. We got the paneling around the door up. I just got to finish putting in some screws for the hinges. And it sounds like we got a goat in there already, but it's just Sam being like a goat. <laughs> hinges are in. Got to get the bottom. Because it's sticking out just the tiniest bit so I gotta just skim that a little bit everything else is looking fantastic on it very happy with it so far and we got two little goats in there Max and Sam I am not a goat <laughs> I, I, I know that bud so there it is we just got to get the window finish up the roof we're gonna put some metal roof and in those gaps there we're gonna put some hardware cloth that's where we're going right now. The window's just physically in place, so now we just gotta screw her in. So the door is done, window and all. Apparently cut the opening just a little too much in the top there. So there was a gap, I filled it on the back side. With a little extra sheeting of plywood, just use it kind of as a shim and we'll caulk that right on up. But there she is, door's in, good to go. Gonna have to uh, put a latch on the inside somewhere. Actually thinking about it now, probably put it up higher so the goats or anything can't grab it and accidentally lock us out but um there she is the, the house is got all four walls and it's got a roof on it so we just need to finish up the roof with the metal roofing and put the hardware cloth on those openings up top in the front and the back the goat house is finally finished for the most part Got some caulking and some paint to do later, but the roof is completely on. It's a metal roof. Max wanted it silver, so that's what he got. The two windows are in. And Rochelle worked very hard to get that uh, wire mesh or hardware cloth down at the bottom so nothing else can get in through the bottom. But, uh, but it looks pretty good. Squared up. And uh, the back here just has an extension cord going in for the meantime. Uh, while well, we need the heat lamp for the babies that are coming. So. so Rochelle did all that landscaping on the bottom there. It was a lot of work. And the kids even helped do that too. Alright. Simple 8 by 8 square in here. And uh. Here's that extension cord and the bottom we're gonna fill in with some mulch. And uh, on the top here we were able to get in some screening so nothing big can get in, at least for the time being. If we find out something gets in there, we'll just put some hardware cloth. But there she is, all done and in just about a week. 